Hey, this is Sami. Today I'm going to talk about how you can create lower third using After Effects. If you are a beginner and you want to learn After Effects, this video for you. So let's begin. So now I'm going to click on New Composition. So I'm going to set up the composition. So preset HDTV 1080 29.97 and I'm not going to change anything here the frame rate 29.97 and resolution will be full and duration is 10 seconds you can change color from here but I'm going to stick with black and I'm going to click OK and OK right here so okay this is my composition now I'm going to click on rectangle tool I'm, I'm going to draw a rectangle shape right here next I'm going to import Twitter logo Okay, let's drag it here. I'm going to place it right here. Now I'm going to click on type tool and type something right here. Now I'm going to bring it little down. I'm going to place it here. Okay, then I'm going to click type tool again. Now I'm going to type something here. And place it here. I'm going to make it little bigger from here. So this is it for the layers. So now I'm going to parent and link. This is mean that if you move, rotate or scale the parent, the child goes with it. So if we move the parent, the child will follow. So shape layer one is our parent layer right here. So I'm going to connect other layer to the shape layer one. So let's connect it. As you can see right here, I'm going to connect all with shape layer 1. Okay, now I'm going to move the parent layer. Now I'm going to do the animation. As you can see, this is our time roller. And this is our current time indicator. So I'm going to place time ruler indicator to 3 second and I'm going to click on shape 1 and I'm going to press P from the keyboard. Now I'm going to click on position. That's how we can do the animation. Now I'm going to replace current time indicator to 0 second and I'm going to take lower third out of the box. Now I'm going to press space from the keyboard and play it. As you can see it's pretty slow so in order to make it faster we need to replace the keyframe all the way to the left. That's how we can make more faster. Ok let's see how this goes. I'm going to play it again. You see it's much faster than before. So now I'm going to wrap up all my layers and select all the layers and click on right on my mouse and I'm gonna click on pre-compose and I'm gonna click move all attributes into the new composition and I'm gonna click OK so, so I got the composition right here. So I'm gonna cut it to two seconds. 
Now I'm going to play it again. So as you can see it's coming out but I need to go back. That's how lower third works. Uh, in order to do that I need to duplicate my composition. So I, I'm going to click on the composition and I'm going to I'm going to press command D for duplicate the composition. So as you can see I just duplicated. it. So I'm going to replace it right here and I'm going to click right on my mouse and I'm going to select time and then I'm gonna select time reverse layer that's how lower third will reverse I'm gonna play it again and see how does it work so as you can see it's coming and it's reversing let's play it again and see as you can see it's coming out and reversing so this is it now we're gonna export it so in order to export it we need to click on composition and we're gonna click add to render quit so first uh, we're gonna click on the lose less and the format is quick time I want to stick with it if you want to change it you can change it from here there is a here is the variety of format so I'm gonna stick with quick time and I'm gonna change it the channel RGB I want to change it to RGB alpha because I want to remove this black background if you want to change this black ground or remove this black ground you need to uh, select RGB plus alpha then I'm gonna click OK so next thing is uh, output to that means where you wanna save your lower third so I'm gonna select to my desktop so I'm gonna click it here and as you can see it's showing my desktop right here here I wanna save so I'm gonna rename it so I'm gonna click save so final thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on render so this is it now I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna click on the clips lower third for right here now I'm gonna play it and see how does it look So this is it. Thank you for watching my video and I see you next time.